DedSec resurgence have prompted Parliament to approve the use of lethal force for Albion contractors. CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. DedSec terrorists will quickly find that Albion, unlike the police force of this city, is battle-tested and proven in the field. The Prime Minister's office has called this shoot-to-kill mandate a drastic but necessary Shit time to, to join up, eh? Here, your new kit. DedSec is no game, yeah? Can't be a normal person by day and a resistance fighter by night. Normal? Albion was just handed shoot to kill rights. You don't have to tell me. I know when something has to change. I'm just scared to let go of everything. Well, you can keep sitting on your ass, or you can grow a pair and help the people you care about. <sighs> yeah. You're right. I'm ready. Welcome to the Resistance. Right. Welcome aboard, etc. etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big strong drone friend to get on top of SRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? I'm on my way. I'm here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal it. I've secured the server to your vehicle. It's your turn. Oh, and drive safe. Wouldn't want you to blow up now, would we? Yeah, thanks for the advice, mate. This is fucking mad. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. This is brilliant. Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic.
CT OS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. All right. Scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell. Do they use it for anything but watching people shag? Got drones on my ass, Bagley. Well, shit. Can you do anything to lose your new friends? Maybe invite them to a pottery night or overshare something personal. Whatever you do, just get to the last location in one piece. Gah, fuck. Fine. Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now. Vicious little bastards are still with me, Bags. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them, throw rocks at them, destroy them psychologically with cyberbullying. Just keep them busy until the transfer's complete. this server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. Go on. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! was fun, wasn't it? We pulled off a heist, made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing.
Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that Dead Zek are fighting along with them. That's all well and good, but it's the power brokers that need to be brought down. There was a word for Albion back in my day. It started with an end and ended with a Nazi. And then there's Clan Kelly, exploiting the desperate. They need to be on our shit list. Fair, but remember that this Zero Day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. You the one looking for dead sec? Wasn't sure you'd come knowing I'm part of the establishment. Or at least I was until Albion dismissed Parliament. I do want to say, what you've done in Westminster is remarkable. You've given the people hope. What's happening in the city now, the government may have laid the foundation, but Albion built the house. I couldn't agree more. That's why I contacted you. Albion haven't simply shut down the government. They've sullied the Palace of Westminster, the Great Bell, with their propaganda. Do you understand what that looks like? If you really want to rekindle some of the people's fighting spirit, then restoring the clock tower would go a long way. If we take back the symbol of power, it will help to delegitimize Albion. This place was built for the people and it belongs to them. I knew I could count on you. It will be wonderful to hear the bell once more. There is some security around the bell tower, but that shouldn't pose a problem. A bigger issue will be getting to the top. Any ideas? A spider bot should do the trick. to the top of the tower is treacherous. All crawl spaces and gantries. More suited to six mechanical legs than two human ones. Sounds fun, man.
That should do it. was moving, truly. To hear the chimes again, to see that tower the way it's meant to be seen, means everything to the people of this borough. The destruction of these cultural role symbols can devastate our nation. This clock tower reminds us that even in war, the government can still function for the people. It represents our parliamentary democracy. To have Albion deface it the way they did, it's clear what they were up to. Thank you, DedSec. Brilliantly done. Westminster will surely rise up against Albion after this. Thanks. This place has bad feelings. Many died. Too many ghosts. It's been abandoned for months. So I've been out to see security all over the building that should be undergoing repairs. Seems a bit suspicious, doesn't it? True. Mr. Bagley, what am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal, it seems to be coming from within the rubble. is coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Looks like it got hit by a hammer. Lots of times. What's it doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction.
Come out. We know you're there. Two more data relays to go. It's mine now. Data relay, and I'll have it. Just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Yes, I understand. Kelly dog. Kelly, Clan Kelly, gangster guys blew up London. Uh, not exactly. Looked more like an handoff. I'd say the Kellys were just the suppliers. Who were they meeting? She's not with the Kellys crew. Do you think maybe she's with Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, do you know who's using Spider-Bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the Spider-Bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. The police was watching this as it was happening? Reconstruction continues behind that rubble. 
Is there a quantum tunnel here we can use? Hmm? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but Spiderbox and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good plan. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Yes, I understand. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. That is Zero Day's signature. Yeah, hurry. We've got all the deliveries. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Oh, shut it. We're all on need to know. Okay, so, Zero Day used other crews to execute bombings. Wow, they must have a lot of evil friends. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Police could know who the real bombers are and they say nothing. They're supposed to be the good guys. Why? The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Take this down. The tone bombing presents us with an excellent opportunity. Once we've taken full possession of the site, it gives us a good vantage point on the Thames and provides us with a cover of activity to mask some of our own higher risk activities. What a town. History around every corner and a tourist photographing it. Pubs serving up a pint and a smile. All that music.